my dear friends welcome to my channel myself gaur bharat kumar working as assistant professor in the department of csc in today's session we will cover what is the meaning of object relational model and what is the use of object relational model yes so far we have covered different types of data models hierarchical data model network data model entity relationship model relational model object oriented model okay so why we are using the data models actually the data models gives us an idea that how the final system will look like after its complete implementation simply we will say that it defines the data elements and the relationships between the data elements actually the data models are used to show how the data is stored how the data is connected how the data is accessed and how the data is updated in the database management systems if you have any doubts if you have any clarification regarding the data models please watch my previous videos now we will move to the object relational model actually it is an advanced concept of database management system in with the help of sql we will not implement the object relational model we will simply say that it is an extension of sql only um, from sql version 3 onwards the object relational model will be implemented finally it is a combination of both the relational model and the object oriented model what is the relational model what is the object oriented model already we are covered in the previous sessions so simply the relational model shows the structure in the form of tables here the object oriented model tells about the both the data and the relationship are present in a single structure so the object oriented model is a combination of object oriented programming and the relational database model here the object relational model is a combination of relational model and object oriented model please observe the difference between object oriented data model and object relational model okay so in this what we will cover actually it is a gap between object oriented model and relational model based on the disadvantages of object oriented model and relational model now we will move to the object relational model we can have many advanced features here like uh, complex data types according to our requirements using the existing data types as of now we will consider only the basic data types like integer character date like that but in the object relational model we will consider the advanced data types like how to insert the images in the table how to insert the videos in the table how to insert the web page links in the table like that okay these advanced concepts are uh, advanced data types are available in the object relational model here we have a disadvantage also we will see what is the disadvantage actually with the object relational model that this can get complex and difficult to handle because here the proper understanding of the object relational model is required for the implementation so up to now we are uh, discussed about the relational models relational models means simply Mm, the tables okay so that those are easily understandable but the object relational model is not an easy to understand okay so here the object relational data bases extended the relational data model to address those weakness identified previously already we know what are the disadvantages of uh, relational data model and what are the disadvantages of object oriented data model mm, the hardware overheads and bad designing are the disadvantages of relational model but why we are using the relational model because compared to the disadvantages the advantages are mm, the compared to the disadvantages 
the advantages are major here so that's why we are using the relational model so here in the object relational model it is the extension of relational data model okay so here in the object relational database you add some features associated with object oriented systems to the relational data model here we will try to add major data types and object oriented features also like inheritance okay how to use the subtypes super types how to use the user defined functions how to create the sub tables super tables these facilities are available with the help of object relational model finally we will simply say that it is the advanced concept of structured query language so in this um, we are using the sql version 3 so in the next session we will discuss about what is the meaning of sql version 3 what are the features available in the sql version 3 until now thank you very much thank you very much for your patience